Yeah, there's a lot of news to talk about today. Let's start with Mylan. The company saying late Friday it reached a settlement with the Justice Department for about $465 million. That's with the DOJ and other government agencies to settle claims over uh, the idea that it may have misclassified the EpiPen as to how much it was supposed to pay in rebates to Medicaid. It had been charged by several congressmen that it wasn't paying enough in these Medicaid rebates. As part of the settlement, they're also going to be entering a corporate integrity agreement. That was part of the announcement on Friday. Uh, the settlement, though, doesn't have any finding of Mylan wrongdoing here. They also said Friday that they're going to be lowering their 2016 adjusted EPS guidance. However, the stock reacting very positively because people thought the settlement might have been a lot bigger than the $465 million they're paying. It also removes a big overhang. Raymond James upgrading the stock today. However, Wells Fargo's David Maris says there may be more to worry about here. The SEC actually starting an investigation into this same issue. And of course, there's going to be continued questions around the actual price of the EpiPen. So more to watch with Mylan. On the cancer drug front, there was a big conference over the weekend in Copenhagen called ESMO. Folks are saying it's probably even more influential this year than ASCO, the U.S. cancer conference that takes place in June. Merck, Bristol-Myers, Tesaro, and Clovis all moving on data out of the conference. All positive except for Bristol-Myers. They're in this lung cancer battle with Merck and really not coming out positively. They're down 10% today. However, on Tesaro and Clovis, they're both working in this new class of drugs known as PARP inhibitors, um, working in ovarian cancer. Some very promising data there, and that's really driving these stocks up today. You know, it's interesting Meg, in terms of the reaction on Wall Street to the Milan settlement, because as you mentioned, Raymond James upgraded, but City, Bernstein, Wells Fargo all say clarity for 2016. There's not too many months left, but no clarity on 2017 or beyond because we don't know what the generic EpiPen pricing is going to do to EPS. Yeah, there's a lot of questions uh, as to next year for Milan. They did reiterate their $6 adjusted earnings EPS guidance. That's redundant, but for 2018, that guidance for $6. But what happens in between now and then? How do they get there? And what will the impact be of all of the scrutiny? on drug pricing because a lot of folks are saying they were not they will not be able to use that as a lever to drive mm -hmm. uh, increases anymore. Hey CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.